oxide elements out of the dirt. Whoa, look at this thing. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to No Man's Sky, episode 144. We're just processing some emerald into some chromatic metal, so that we can go ahead and repair this damaged machinery. I sorted my inventory a little bit, um, but really we're going to have to go and sell some things if we really want our inventory to get squared away. Now I did notice there's ancient data structure over there and another unknown building, so this planet also seems to have a lot of... What am I trying to say? A high building population? Or at least we have, we have a little bit of confirmation bias that these first two buildings are close together, so stands to reason the other ones may be close together as well. Not 100% sure though, we will have to figure it out. Um, so let's go do that. I think first we'll hop into these shelters here. Yep. Extract some nanites. A lot of nothing in that one. We'll leave our ship parked here for the time being as we go, and we're going to get some more navigational data from this ancient data structure. So it's another set of shelters over there. It's not really what I'm after. A curious deposit. I don't remember what that is. I feel like it's been so long since I've seen one of those. Ooh, incoming firestorm detected. That came on fast. Well, that's right, this place has more extreme firestorms. But it doesn't say extreme. But the word firestorm was red. Alright, let's recharge our life support. Let's go see what this curious deposit's all about. For I am curious to see what it is. You knew that was coming, didn't didn't you? If you didn't, you're probably new to the channel, in which case, welcome. Oh, these are the ones that try to roll away when you harvest them. Carbon crystal, chloride lattice, chloride lattice. No destabilized sodium? Rare metal element. I mean, I guess I'll take the carbon crystal off your hands. Why not? I'm going to use another one of those. Another unknown building. Okay, well, they don't appear to be everywhere in every direction. But more in a line, like a, a dotted line across the landscape. Let's go see what this other unknown building is, and then I dare say we're just going to scan for a manufacturing facility. Oh. <laughs> right after we put some fuel in the fusion engine. Well, that firestorm was very short-lived, was it not? sodium. Okay. More shelters.
Okay, so let's let's see. This planet has of the three different buildings we've run into, all within a very close distance of each other. They have all been shelters. Hmm, darn it. Come on. It's too far away. There we go. You can do this. Very nice. Another unknown building. All right, let's see if we can four for four this. At this point, I just want to see if it's like a minor settlement over here with all these shelters. Oh! An obelisk. Okay. I could go with this. The ruins of Hotari Babu. I convulse as I reach out and touch the beautiful stone marker, my mind filling with a deadly knowledge of the true history of the Gek. The minor Gek are the inferior breed lurking in pools, procreating and dying without consequence. The first spawn Gek conquer worlds. Each of their spawns is an imprint on the destiny of the galaxy. I'd like help with your language, please. The Gek word for idiot. Ooh, that's condescending. I suppose we'll learn another word from the Gek here. Fight this, this monitor lizard creature. The Gek word for devastation, as in, you're devastating our population of endangered monitor lizards. <laughs> Another shelter! Well, okay. Let's go ahead and let's scan and see if there even is a manufacturing planet or a manufacturing facility on this planet. So there might not be. Okay, operations center. Not quite what I'm looking for. And how far away is it? Not very far. Eight minutes by foot is not all that far. But we're looking for... Oh, nothing found. Look at those colors. Might this be a better... Oh, this might be our, thumb, our thumbnail right now at the beginning of the... Hold on. No, maybe not. Maybe if we get, like, right here. It's not quite sunset enough, right? Maybe. I think we'll just take it. We'll keep our eye out for a better one, though. Ugh, I don't like that third person on my person. No, make it go away. Hmm. All right. Operation center, if it's eight minutes by foot, and it's already less than two minutes by vehicle. I don't necessarily want to go to the operation center, though. I just think maybe if we change our distance a little bit, we can go ahead and scan for another manufacturing facility and see if we can find one. Which I've already done. Let's try again. And there we go. Five minutes away by foot. That's not that far at all. One minute thirty-eight by Exocraft. Let's go. Let's take the Nomad and go. 
You could rig some pretty neat racetracks, I believe, with the Nomad, though. The Tachi Enclave. Okay, well now we're on the night side of the planet, but we're still sort of smoldering from the, from the firestorm. Although I think it's ending over here on the cooler side of the, the Terminator. Yep, and here we are. Go ahead and save and chart. Alright, it's still pretty hot here. Whoops. You guys need better automated defenses. Alright. Warning, something something detected, bypass chip template detected, GEC Federation blank. The terminal isn't running proprietary code. It's possibly illegal and emptying resource vaults of rare metals. I could revert the facility to its original use, but I could also see where the system hijack leads. Uh, just revert the system. System reboots and rewards me. The rare metal element. Well, okay, that just seems like a... Yeah, okay, so we have to knock out all these, these little low blueprints, I suppose. Meanwhile, it's still a nighttime firestorm out here. It's so hot. Nothing found. I don't doubt that. Unknown building up there. Unknown building down there. Ancient plaque. I believe that's the one we left. Okay, so we have a couple of unknown buildings nearby. Let's just see what they are. This planet seems to have buildings really close together, much like the desert planet. And if that's something spread across the whole system... Ruins. Alright, let's do this one. If that is something spread across the whole system, then it might be that way in the toxic planet as well. Buildings all over the place. Although this planet decidedly has more shelters so far that we've seen. Learn how to say Peril, Corvax, and so that's going to be it for here. Look at that sky. It's hot, but it's cool colored. All right, the Nagoth Nayo landmark. As I touch the obelisk, images of the planet's ancient past flood my mind. The terrible beginnings of the Gek have been absorbed by this strange stone, and their tail seems desperate to escape. The larval pools of Balaron gave glorious rise to the first spawn. As we sprang forth, the outer edge recoiled in fear. None could oppose our rise, and none will bring about our end. Teach me more of your language. Check word for isotopes. Suppose that is going to have some benefit. And there was another unknown building. Yes, yeah, right over there. Let's make sure we didn't actually miss. Oh, we did miss one. Did not miss one. Yes, we did. I knew it. I only got two, and there was indeed three. <laughs> the geck word for illegal. Better look out. Breaking that law. Mm -mm. What 
the heck? So our unknown building is over there, but there's a whole... There's a whole, like, economy over on that hilltop, and it's not even registering as a building. That's an observatory, right? Wow. And you could just see it over on the, on the mountain. That's how close together it is near these ruins. Unknown building. Unknown building. Another curious deposit. I'm tempted to continue exploring this planet a little bit. Oh, it's just one curious deposit, right? Just the one. It is destabilized sodium, though. I accept these terms. Thank you. No, oh, we don't need that. Okay, so that's an unknown building. That's not the one we're going to, though, is it? Manufacturing facility we just came from. Unknown building. Unknown building. I guess we'll head to this one first and then to the other one. Oh, down the cliff we go. Oh, it's another obelisk. The ashes of Iskrakoba. Memories imbued into the rock long ago by the ancient Gek channel into my brain. I recoil, but am compelled to somehow understand. The first spawn is the scourge of the outer edge. In its wake, empires will fall, planets will crumble, galaxies will kneel, tremble at our name, for we are the almighty Gek. None can oppose our ascendance. There are, un there are unknown buildings everywhere on this planet. At some point, we are no joke just going to have to call it and leave. But this planet seems to have like the whole history of the Gek written all over it. Look, another one. This is actually very intriguing. I didn't do it. Another unknown building over there. Humming egg. We do have a life form over on the other side of this ridge, so we're going to do that first. Before I lose them. Oh. Does not fear death. Eats foraged leftovers. Oh my. And what a predator, what a magnificent predator it is. See, you have to go find the life forms. You never know what you're going to see. All right, let's touch this monolith. The Lu stop it do's restless sleep. Flickering emblems appear on the stone, although I do not recognize the language. Somehow I can read of the history of this strange planet and the Gek who once resided here. The first spawn grew. Weakling poor wiggle lost their tails to the spawning syrup and became mighty warriors. Each was imbued with the might of the Gek Dominion and its unquenchable will to claim the stars. Poor Wiggle? Is that like a polywoggle? Gek word for silicates. Alright, I think one more unknown building is all this planet has for us and then we're going to move on. This is just debris. 
three. All right. Well, this is how we strike out, and we're on, and we're done. At the Uno Sands. I've had enough of this planet. Ooh, more social creatures. Hasty eats dihydrogen crystals. All right. It is time to depart this planet. And the final planet of this system is a toxic one. No, we're not going to go after the pirates. Not in this ship. If they come after us, we'll give them what for as best we can. We do have some sodium on hand to replenish shields. But mostly, exploration is what we're after here in this system. In all systems, really. That's what our goal is. Wow, look at all these different ships here. This is, uh, this is, this, pl this system is rife if you're looking for combat. Not very strong, though. Okay, so we're gonna be kind of coasting down the rings here. Let's, let's deviate a little bit. Let's go to this section. I want to be offset from the rings some, so they're in my vista. Ah, a nice swamp green color to the surface of the planet. With an orange sky. It's gonna make it feel nice and swampy. Whoa, are those trees? No, those are some kind of weird mushroom. buildings everywhere like the other planets. Even the Gek dislike these planets, it seems. Alright, I suppose we're just going to land. Let's pick this mountain up here. The terrain is all sorts of uneven. Oh, here's a building. Just debris. How fitting. I have to admit, for a toxic planet, it's a little brighter and more cheery looking than I'm used to. Corrosive damp is the weather. The flora all seems bright green, the ground a smattering of bright brown and green. Peach colored sky. It has some of the uh, the typical king mushrooms here that we've come to see on other toxic planets. It's also got what look, appears to be mushroom cacti. the most peculiar formations on this planet, though. Ooh, ooh, stand by. This isn't debris. This is a trade terminal. Before we do that, though, I'm going to scan some of these. These are really interesting. They're like mushrooms, but like missiles. They look like missiles. I don't see a lot of anything as I'm scanning here. 
got subterranean relics, and we have a lot of those. I don't see any nearby structures or anything. I see a whole bunch of oxygen. So we're actually kind of overflowing with oxygen right now. Yeah, we've got over 2,000 on us. I don't think we need more. Well, maybe a little. Okay. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe just a few. I can't help myself. I've got an oxygen addiction. I don't know if you... You might be like me. You might also need oxygen to live, but I don't know. Your mileage may vary. Let's sell. Ah, yes. Some of these dirty pinions, greasy cylinders, experimental processors, larval core. We could use the nanites, but we don't really need them right now. I'm just going to sell it to clear the inventory out. I think we'll sell one of these tetra cobalt. That way we free up a whole inventory space. Okay. Nothing super remarkable here where we touch down. Let's give it let's give it a scan and see what we can find. So from the overhead map, the terrain looks somewhat non-specific. And we find a manufacturing facility on our first scan, and it is 10 minutes away by foot, so we'll fly there. The terrain seems very haphazard. Uh, I would call this mountainous. Yeah, this is mountainous. You got mountains, valleys. Not a lot of stuff, though. Okay. Let's make sure we've cleared out our... Inventory room here for everything. No more of those, we'll get rid of that. Navigational data. Put the portable refiner there, the ossified star there. Okay, I like what I see. Ooh, this is gonna have to be sorted out at another time. Uh, no, I don't want that, but I want to make sure we're back onto the purge. Okay. All right, to the manufacturing facility. All right, hold on. Oh, we passed right by the landing pad. Oh, don't crash too much. Thanks is. Hmm, I've got to get better at that. Alright, and here we are at the lovely Harbor Bog. Look at the tentacles sort of coming off of these weird mushrooms. It is just such a bright and cheery sort of, oh, toxic planet. Passive eats oxide elements out of the dirt. Whoa, look at this thing. It's like dragging its bill through the dirt. So it's like grazing for oxide elements. Hold on, there's another life form over there. Hold on, we didn't quite make it. Oh my goodness, it's another large one. I wonder we haven't seen any life forms. This is a planet of mammoths. Look at this thing. It's all caught up in the mushrooms. Whoa. I wonder it's having trouble walking. The thing is massive. Prudent eats cave marrow. Let's see if we can help it out a little bit, huh? There, did that help you? Look at that. Nope. I think we have our new thumbnail now. 
but without a frame of reference. That's okay. I like that with the plant in front of it. Wow. You're not mad at me, are you? Oh, well, it's, it's squawking like it is, but I, I was trying to help you. Did I startle it? Is it coming for me? It is. It's angry. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't wish to fight you. We're going to leave. Okay, so they're not docile giants by any stretch of the imagination. They are... They are easily aggravated. Ancient data structure. Their, their agreeability is tenuous at best. So we're going to run over here. We're going to grab some navigational data and see if there's maybe another life form. Because at this point, I would like to assess whether or not this planet has all giant life or just some. Because of the first two we found are pretty pretty massive life forms. Besides the plants, it's also flora. Okay, there's some there's some interesting mushrooms on this planet. See. To really get a feeling for a planet, you have to walk around on it. Oh. Okay, it's not a giant. But it is a large crab. There's something about the uh, ecosystem of this planet. Hold on, I'm going to feed you some carbon. There's something about the ecosystem of this planet that breeds larger than normal creatures. Hmm. You really have to land on a planet and spend some time walking around it to really see what makes it different. It would have been so easy to just cruise right over this planet in the starship, not even land, and be like, yep, okay, seen this planet a million times. But it's not until you get down here in the mountains looking at the giant dinosaur-like creatures. With the colorful days and the equally colorful nights. Now everything is this sort of hunter green. These mushrooms look like old, like trees almost. Some kind of pine. Okay, but we did have a manufacturing facility we need to get back to. This is to be sold. This can go on our freighter. All right. So let's go back down to our manufacturing facility. And look at these rocks with like plants growing out of them. I don't know if I've seen these before. I mean, eventually, you think to yourself, we're bound to have seen it all. But yet, I keep playing and I keep seeing new things. Oh, look, there is an observatory over there and some shelters. Yep. All right. Let's knock, knock, and let ourselves in, shall we? We got Pugnium. Almost like there was a Sentinel hanging out there. All right. Friend, something language, something something unit, something choose Viking, choose Corvax, or choose, I'm guessing, Gek. Something language. Oh, okay, so this is more like a 
operations center of the manufacturing facility, with three vast columns of words endlessly scrolling on the screen, each in a strange alphabet. Bloodied runes, scratched in sand, precise sequences of dots in a handwritten font full of exclamatory punctuation. Handwritten font, that's going to be the geck. Let's do it. I learn how to better communicate with the local race of strange beaked traders. And and a recipe for how to make lemium. Okay. Oh, that must be because I chose the local ones, right? Maybe? I'll have to remember that. I think in all fairness, I've had enough of this system. And I'd like to go somewhere else. So. Let's head back to the local space station. Oh, and it looks like somebody finally decided to pick a fight with me. Ooh, except they tried to right before I jumped. Sorry about your luck. Guess next time you'll have to be a little faster on the draw. Now, in case you've been watching the series and wondering when we're going to go back to the base and do more at the base, the uh, short answer is once we wrap up these manufacturing facility blueprints. You see, I realized we could spend a bunch of time on our home planet looking for these manufacturing facilities, but as much fun as that is, more than anything, I want to see new planets. So we're going to continue our exploration of systems that maybe we breezed through a little too soon on our jump so as not to advance the purge timer before we're ready. It occurred to me as I'm watching the purge timer count down that it's awarding me, or it's giving, it's, it's mapping out these 16 glyphs after it said 16 minutes, everything was going to shut down. So, I don't necessarily want to accelerate that. And it appears that it only accelerates once we warp. So, again, we're just going to verify the GEC. No, this is an old space system, so it's pretty clear that we've learned all the language from here in the past. I think we will take one more gander here at the missions available. It looks like we did that when we first got here. We will take the thermic condensate, though, as that is another item that we can upgrade. To create new items. I'm not even sure what the thermic condensate is going to be used for, but... I believe it's hot ice, isn't it? Enriched carbon nitrogen salt. Hmm. Perhaps we don't have what... Oh, no. Organic Catalyst needs Enriched Carbon and Thermic Condensate. So, Enriched Carbon is just Radon and Condensed Carbon. We can actually do that pretty significantly. But instead, what we're going to do for now, because we're not going to mess with all of that crazy... We're going to do all the big manufacturing in one, ep one big episode for that. So, for now, what we're going to do is repeat the process of looking for a system been to in the past that we maybe did not give its full due. One planet, five planets, three planets, two moons, three planets at this one, five planets, it's uncharted, two planets, one moon. Let's try Ulfuset. Three planets and we only went to one. We've been going to these peaceful planets for a while. I wouldn't mind a little bit of extreme planet Terry exploration. And here we are. 
Wonderful. Let's stop and see what sort of quests the the guilds have for us. Scan five creatures. That's pretty simple. Kill a sentinel quad. That's going to come up at some point. Thank you much. Thank you much. We're going to put the rest on hold. Um, we will talk to a local Corvax and just make sure that we... No, we have not requested dialect help from Neves. It could have been. We did not have... We did not have the copper when we came through here. Now, I know it was also mentioned in the comments how I'm not necessarily reading what the aliens are saying as much, and I've addressed it a little bit that they repeat themselves a lot, but once we know enough of their language that I feel like we'll be able to decipher most of what they say every time, we will take the time... We will take the time to listen a little bit more to what they have to say. We're just not at that point currently. Keep the purge mission up. And we'll go see what sort of exosuit modules are for sale, because I want to start improving our exosuit here a little bit. Toxic protection module we have. We could also begin to continue storing our multi-tool. No, it's a pistol. I do not wish to get a, pi a pistol. I believe we need one more scanner module. But we don't we don't have the ones we want. Okay. That is fine. So instead, let's go see what this system has for us. Maybe we'll better understand the reason why we only explored one planet. So this was the planet we explored here. A toxic planet with Orange Soda Oceans. I do remember this planet, actually. But what of the other planets? Ah, an undiscovered planet. A hot planet with activated emerald. You have my attention. And this planet... An empty planet. Let's go there first. I don't anticipate spending much time on this planet. But I would like to start hitting up these planets more often and not brushing them off as being the same. I'm starting to really doubt the handful of times that I've, I've taken things for granted as always being the same. An empty planet. That doesn't strike me as an anomalous planet. That's more of a rusted metal, so it's going to be like a dead planet. Let's break over to the other side of the Terminator, perhaps. I do believe that's going to be the right call. We'll see how the sun looks through the rings. Alright, let's make planet fall. Floating rocks. Oh. Okay, yeah. This one does feel a little different. Mostly because the star does not appear blue. And there's some orange in the sky. That's entertaining. Let's go ahead and let's let's come in for a landing. Silent, passive, not present, fauna lacking. But it doesn't appear like a blue star this time. It appears like a yellow star. And we have these orange nebulous patches in the sky. That adds some character to it. Floating rocks. 
Ooh, you can clearly see the red planet in the distance because of the lack of atmosphere interference. So that seems like one benefit to these dead planets is if you have a particularly stunning looking planet from space, it appears like it will appear the same from down here because the atmosphere isn't going to get in the way. Is that a starship just went overhead? Sure enough. I don't really want to spend much time here. Again, I'm not sure what the big point of these planets are. I mean, maybe there's a peacefulness to them? Maybe if you just, if you love desert planets, but you can't get enough of that barren planet feel. It does look pretty neat with the way the ring is lit up like that. No, that's fine. Let's go ahead and bail here, and let's go to the extreme fiery planet with all the red water. I think that's going to be one we want to spend our time on. Atmospheric interference. You're mistaken. There's no atmosphere on this rock. Try again. There we go. So it's a hot planet with activated emerald and what appears to be a massive ocean. massive. So I think we'll get two more shield modules here for the exosuit, and then we'll get rid of these gel tanks, and we'll put another uh, movement system module upgrade here, because I would rather have... If I had to pick, if I had to pick, I would rather have six shield upgrades and six movement upgrades, and only three life support upgrades over here. And then three shield, three life support, three shield, and another three movement. But the movement won't be able to be linked to the jetpack. But that's going to take up nine inventory slots in our inventory. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That would be that would mean we would have a full inventory right now. Which I guess it's not the end of the world, but that's not really what I have in mind. I do like having available inventory, but I feel like six S-Class movement modules would be be worth the space we'd be giving up. Wow, look at this planet. It is so much ocean. You can't even call these continents. Oh, they're like beaches. Teal sky and the familiar scraggly trees. Look at this. How interesting. And it's activated metal here, so you know the weather's going to be good and hot. Even the buildings are red. Extreme heat. <laughs> is how the weather is listed. Oof, that's hot. Yep, it's already extreme. Alright, let's let's just swing in here and nope, no not there. Terminal I guess we could look at the pistol, I suppose. Oh a C class with seven slots. That's okay, we're still saving up money. We'll go we'll go get ourselves a nice multi-tool eventually. Just not there yet. Yeah, you're gonna save a bunch of gobbledygook, I don't understand. Um I 
think more than anything, I would like to sell you my drop pod data, please, and thank you. And you know what? I'll buy one more technology module, just so that when I need it, I have it. How about that? This one's going to want me to do a quest. How much would you like to bet? I would decline your quest. I'm not going to answer a literal call to adventure. Whoa. Large migratory herd on the surface. Methodical eats Mordite roots. They do not appear to be impacted by the extreme heat at all. This is not even, we're not even in a storm right now. It's just hot. It's almost 100 degrees before any sort of a storm. And there's all sorts of water. It's not quite 100 degrees, though, so you know that water is good and cooking. All right, well, I suppose we're going to do what we came here for, right? It's a manufacturing facility searching. Let's go ahead and scan secure frequencies. And we'll just assess what sort of... Uh, how this planet feels. See if we can go through a storm. There it is. I don't think we're going to go for that, though, necessarily. As instead, we're going to wrap up this episode. Oh, it's off planet. Touche. They don't really want us exploring around the surface of this planet, do they? It's because of all the water. Well, perhaps we need to take it underwater, then, and see what that's all about. But that is going to be next episode. This has been episode 144. Thank you so much for joining me. I do hope you've had a good time watching. Because as always, I've had a good time playing. Be sure to come back next time. As we're going to explore a little bit of the water of this planet. And maybe even go hunt a manufacturing facility on the other planet. Let's continue chasing blueprints seeing new sights. But until next time... Take care.